Hello fellows, and praise the sun. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Um, we've got a hefty chunk of souls right now, so before we join the Covenant, let me level up just a tiny bit further. Um, it's actually not going to help, so we'll go for 24 Endurance. And then maybe we'll put the rest in Attunement, actually. I don't know. I think 24 Endurance is pretty solid. We could always use more, but... That's good for us. So, uh, let's pray at the Altar of Sunlight. Enter the Covenant. We'll abandon the Dark Wraith Covenant. And... Doing thus, we gain the ability to offer Sunlight Medals. But, we only have eight right now. So, I actually need to do some co-op. And that is the focus of this episode. We're going to be trying to help people out in co-op. Um, the places I'm going to go might end up being, uh, kind of present with gank parties, so if we run into any of those, I'm throwing myself off a cliff. There's no, um, there's no bad point to dying as a co-op partner. You know, you don't get the rewards, but if people are just waiting around killing others, then, you know, it's not something you want to associate with. So first, I'm gonna go to the... Dark Root Garden, which is why I just wanted to say that right now, is because it's a pretty common area for that. I'd like to do some co-op against Sif, the Great Grey Wolf, and just fight with him again. I thought it would be a fun one to do. I don't know how many people actually summon for that fight, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. So, now that we're a warrior of sunlight, we are all ready and raring to go. So, uh, I'll see you guys there. So I, I'm kind of reluctant, I don't think I'm going to place my summon sign down right here. I'm actually going to go a wee bit further, um, just to make it clear that we're not here to engage in any player versus player stuff. We're focusing on PvE, so we're going to go closer to the boss fog. Usually you just keep your summon sign closest to the bonfire, but here I think might be, it might be better to keep it as an exception. So. So, I guess right about here's good, I'm hoping. I don't know. But anyways, there's our golden signature as the sun bro. A symbol of pride and status. Seeking jolly cooperation and the spread of sunlight metals across the land. Etc, etc. That's the thing I think is kind of cool about um, sun bros as well is, uh, is that... Um, when people summon you and they beat a boss with you, even if they're not in the Covenant, they still get a Sunlight Medal. So it's kind of an extra incentive to be summoned. And in addition to that, it, it also um, makes it easier for other people to progress in the uh, Warriors of Sunlight Covenant. Because they'll be getting the same stuff that you use to rank up. So everybody who is involved in a Sun Brewery uh, session gets, gets a Sunlight Medal. And that's, that's pretty awesome, I think. It helps everybody along, even if they're not actually looking to level up in the Sunbro Covenant. Because most of the other ones, it's, you know, you get a humanity, only the winner gets a humanity, or only the winner gets a dragon scale. This one, everybody works together and everybody gets rewarded for it. And I like that. I like co-op. I'm a big fan of co-op, so... That is, if we ever actually get anybody to summon us, we'll, we'll see about that, so... I might actually try putting my signature right down here. Um, I don't know if that's going to work better or not. Leaning towards not, but we'll see. Oh! I'm invading? Why am I invading? You guys saw I put down a summon sign, right? Is this... I, I didn't want... I didn't want this. I didn't want this... game. Festunda, I don't want to do this. Yes, we're doing this. Um, okay. Well, welcome to the special Sunbro Invasion Power Hour. Oh, jeez. Somebody just died. I don't know if that was an enemy or... Oh, I see... I see yonder... Dark Moon Blade! Oh! What was that? Oh, no, that was, uh... That was Homing Soul. 
Got a bit of a standoff here. Where are you going? Okay. There we go. Just get them all on that tree. As many as we can. Oh, jeez. Ow. Not sure what hit me there. Get back here! I'm a son, bro, but you shall feel my wrath! Got it. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, so that was a little strange with that invasion that we ended up getting. I, I've i had that happen before, it's not, like, an uncommon thing, but it always weirds me out when, like, your intention is like, I just want to help, and suddenly you're invading somebody. I think that would actually happen uh, in Demon Souls, in the Tower of Latria. If you tried to put down your Blue Eye Stone in 3-2 or later, you could actually be summoned as the old monk boss because that boss was actually a player or optimally usually a player controlled boss fight it's, it's something that will occasionally happen here i don't know why here though because the incentive isn't as great maybe nobody's there to uh invade at the moment so they sent us in because we were here I, I have no clue really all right guys um Dark Root Forest is pretty empty as far as co-op opportunities go, so I'm gonna try somewhere else. Um, considering Ornstein Smo, that's a pretty consistent one. Alright, we're here now. And I've pissed off some Silver Knights. So, oh god. Alright. Oh, that's weird. Um... My summon sign isn't gold. I'm still a warrior of sunlight. I'm checking there. Oh god. Please go away. Oh, right. Ah. Uh, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, that was nasty. Let me rest at the bonfire, I'll place my summon sign, and let's hope I don't suffer another uh, unfortunate demise here. So let's plop down our summon sign again. There it goes. It's golden now. I don't know why it wasn't before. It was a little strange. I will say, it doesn't do too much damage for how much stamina it takes to stab with this thing. I think that's the give and take for the amount of range that it really has. It is quite nice. A little bit. Am I being invaded? Yep, that was the sound of an invasion. Okay then. Thus far this episode is more, um... More getting invaded than... Actual co-op. This has been a weird episode, considering we're trying to just do some co-op. All we're doing is invading and being invaded. It's just more PvP. Dear Lord. I can't escape it. It's, it's become my life now. This is, this is the horror's destiny. Oh, hi there. Oh boy. Uh, kindly get out of here. Ooh, tried for a plunge. 
Not bad, not bad. I think that's the silver shield. I got this. Kick. Bonk. Nope. I think they must really be going for that backstab, though. Oh, oh, ah, got me in there for a sec. I actually am really liking the plow for PvP, though. It's, it's interesting. I've, I've never really tried spear-type weaponry, but it works for me. I'll say that. Oh, what is this? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was the worst. Oh, for real? Okay. I think I'm gonna go all the way back to, uh, the top of Van Orlando again. Yep. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Uh, I really shouldn't have, uh, killed the Dark Moon Nidus. I swear I won't do it again. <laughs> it was a big mistake. Because I, I can't homeward either. It'll just take me back to that bonfire by default. Alright, let's go get our souls back. You know, my first mistake really was um, resuming human form, reversing my hollowing, because that opens you up to invasion. So that was that was my fault, really, that we got invaded. But let's, let's get out of here now. This is really going to upset Seath, guys. I'm breaking all this furniture. I mean, he is kind of dead at this point, but... From beyond the grave, I strive to upset him. This is the face of a sun brother you can trust. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Alright, we're in the DLC. I'm hoping maybe we'll get a little bit more uh, activity out here, but even still I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't had any luck in any of the areas I've tried out so far, so who's to say? But um, I did want to point out something. I thought that maybe um, Gwendolyn had to be alive at least for somebody to invade you in Anor Orlando. Um, in, in this file, in this playthrough, we've killed Gwendolyn and Ornstein and Smo both, so technically we shouldn't have any problem at all uh, regarding, or, like, you shouldn't have any problem at all regarding invading people in, uh, invading people in Anorlando. You know, even if they've defeated both bosses, it seems like you're still available to be invaded. So that's the one place, uh, for PvP where regardless of the status of the boss, uh, you can still invade in. So that's, that's kind of neat. Oh, for Juniper's sake... Put some spring into your step. <laughs> so while we're waiting, um, I actually had some dialogue that got cut off with Marvelous Chester, didn't I? I know I had that with a few NPCs, really, but um, I don't know. Let's 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 try out Marvelous Chester. All right, here he gave us this dialogue when we were punching him. So let's piss him off. Oh, it's come to blows, has it? Fine, then. I've had enough of you anyway. Okay. Loves that sweep kick. It is kind of beautiful. I can't blame him. Ouch. It hurts, too. <laughs> Ow. What did you expect? I don't know what I expected. Well, there's some dialogue when he kills you. I think a lot of characters have dialogue if you piss them off and they kill you, but... Yeah. Admittedly, it's kind of a cramped area to fight Chester in here. 
but we'll make do anyways. Hey, Chester. Ooh, what if I kicked you off the cliff? Yeah. Oops. Ah, there. He seems okay with it. Oh, he's kicking the dog. Wow. Chester just murdered that thing. And he's shooting at us. Okay, let's go down there, I guess. Oh, the other dog didn't get pissed off at him, though. That's funny. It likes me, though. I think he honestly attacked that dog by accident. He was still trying to kick us from off the cliff. You're so damn flashy, Chester. See, it would have been great if you got a ring or something from him that let you do all these moves he has, like an extra dark wood grain ring, but like, slower and more flashy and covers more distance, that sort of thing. That would have been great. Especially with the sweep kick, because that thing looks so damn cool. I'll just kick him here for a little while. Sorry, Chester. You win! Please! Oh, please! Have mercy! Hey guys, I don't know if you'd be curious to see what Elizabeth's mushrooms look like when you use them, but... You see, they're passive health recovery, and they're very, very quick. I actually haven't used them that often myself, but as you see here, the amount that they heal is pretty incredible. And they last a decently long amount of time as well, you see. Uh, get hit again, it's still working. So those things are pretty fantastic. Uh, just wore off now. But, um, in case you're looking for something to give you a nice health boost, and a passive one as well, that's that's pretty good. I, I don't know if it's the time of day, I don't know if it's just my level range, and not many people co-op around here, it's more about the PvP. But, uh, I need those sunlight medals, you know. If nothing else, I do need the sunlight medals. The co-op is fun. Um, but if I can't show off the co-op, at the very least, I want to show off the Covenant rewards, and I think we need, like, one or two more medals. I think I have eight with me right now, but I might have another extra one in the bottomless box. I don't know that for sure, but just, like, one co-op session, that's, that's all I'm asking for at this, po at this point, so... So, level one. Oh gosh, I think this might be somebody doing a uh, Soul Level 1 playthrough. If the name is to be trusted, I, d I don't know, but... Oh, they're there. Oh, they're using the Man Serpent Greatsword too. Same weapon, same weapon. Alrighty then. The lock-on range is really not very good here. Whoa! What?! Is that even for real? Come on. As if the pants are coming off. This is a very high-risk battle. Just a few hits, that's all you need. Ooh, we both missed. Ah! Whew. I'm very scared. Fighting a guy at soul level one. 
I'm about to die. I really am about to die. Oh, got him. Oh, he has a sliver. He has a damn sliver. I'm not gonna do lightning spear. That's that that'll be my first and last mistake. Well, not my first. There you go. Whew. That was a little scary. Uh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> So that was me fighting somebody at soul level 1. It did take 3 hits, and I mean... I think we need about the same amount of hits to kill each other, all things considered. Granted, they got a backstab on me, but... Come on, backstabs. What are you gonna do? Ah, <sighs> alright. That was... that was exciting. It was a bit of a thrill ride. And... yet still, we're like... We're trying to do co-op, not not PvP. Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. I've gone hollow from waiting for summons, so... No, I'm just kidding. Alright guys, I've waited at most of the popular spots that I know of for co-op. Uh, this is the last one, and my last hope, before I just give up and try again later. But, um... Kill with the first flame, we're gonna try and co-op the final boss. If there's any place that I occasionally will get some decent co-op, it's here. Well, we're being summoned. It's the first time in an uh, hour and a half I've been recording now, so let's hope this one's legitimate. Alright. Praise the sun. We're helping Pine. The world of Pine. Hello, Pine. Thank you for summoning us. Actually, though, uh, we've got our own great scythe. We should we should match up. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a dragon crush shield, but this should be good. I, I'm very hopeful for this. Oh yeah, we're so synchronized. Oh, so good. Oh! See, there's some teamwork. There we go. I should have brought heal. I for I forget about these things sometimes. Yeah, because you can't use your own Estus. Um, can I use an Elizabeth's mushroom? I'm not sure. Once we get over here, I'll check. Just want to get on slightly less narrow land. There we go. Um, Elizabeth's mushroom. Oops, shoot, I went too far. There we go. Wait for me! <laughs> I can use Elizabeth mushrooms, so that's good. I'm coming. Hi. Oh. I think I'll try and wait to pop it until we get into Gwyn's arena. Then we'll do our thing. Block. All 
right. Doing well. Okay, here it is. It's a little pre-game Gwyn Lord of Cinder. Oh! And he hurts. He hurts a lot. I'm gonna try to do this. Ooh, that was a little scary. I'm gonna try and do this without um, parries. I'm gonna try not to rely on them because I'm gonna practice for that for my own battle with him when we do him solo. As long as he keeps doing these, we're gonna be in good shape though. It's not to say though we shouldn't be careful. He's got dumb kicks. Oh, I shouldn't be, uh... Yeah. I'm getting a little greedy with my swings, I'd say. Get him! Final blow, there you go. Very good. Thank you for your time. And for your cooperation, Pine. Thank you, thank you very much. Alright. Well, we managed one. <laughs> that might be what we need to get to uh, plus one, the Covenant. So, let's head back to the Sunlight Altar now. I'm just glad I actually got one. Um, but there you go, we helped somebody beat the game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. Feel good. And we have enough souls, actually, to level up once more. So let's... Let's take care of that now. Alright, 19. And now we'll warp to the Sunlight Altar. I don't know if this is enough, hopefully it is. I'm actually almost out of uh, battery on my audio device, so... Let's go nap this. Oh, we have exactly 10. Alright. Cool. So we did have an extra one in the bottomless box. Let's just offer these babies all up. Um, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute, and I will show you the rewards for the highest rank in the Sunbro Covenant. And then next, uh, we'll do a .5 episode for this. I'll try and do some co-op on a few different bosses, uh, just so you guys can see it, and uh, we'll leave it with that. So... There you go, Great Lightning Spear we get for gaining our first rank, and then we can offer the soul of Great Lord Gwyn. So to take one last look at it before we offer it up, we'll be getting another one soon, but... Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Soul of the Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight, and Cinder, who linked the first flame. He is the Gwyn, like the dude. He likes white Russians. He is the Gwyn. Uh, Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned his cinder for the first flame, but even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. So we have that. And then let's offer it up. Offer soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, at the Sunlight Altar to gain... Sunlight Spear. And there you go, guys. That's every single miracle in the game I'm pretty sure we got now. Let's take a look at the descriptions for Great uh, Sunlight, or Great Lightning Spear and then Sunlight Spear and see what they have to say. Should have some interesting stuff. Get down to the miracles. Should be right here. Alright, so Lightning Spear, Great Lightning Spear. Pretty similar description, Hurl Giant Lightning Spear, the weapon of the god of war who inherited the sunlight of Lord Gwyn, but had respect only for arms and nothing else. He only liked arms. They mean, they mean weaponry, but being a god of war, you know, can't really blame him. And finally, miracle born from the fading soul of Gwyn, Hurl Sunlight Spear. In the war that marked the dawn of the Age of Fire, Gwyn wielded these rays of sunlight which remain fierce even as they fade. You need 50... 
um, faith in order to use that, so it's pretty whopping. We can use Great Sunlight Spear, so I'm going to switch to that. Um, not that I've been using Lightning Spear all that much anyways, but same amount of uses, just an upgraded version, so no reason not to use it. And it looks damn cool. Ah, uh, you notice me now. Aha! Ow! There we go, see how it goes with shields. Works pretty nicely. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to show off Sunlight Spear just because it's so... It takes so much faith, I don't think that I can use it, but, um, we have it right there. And, uh, oh, you need actually two slots to wield it anyway, so, here. If you try and cast it, can't do it. Not powerful enough. Not faithful enough, but we have it at least. You saw the description. Um, you could always look up a video of it. I might even take, like, some stock footage of somebody using it and credit them, just so you can see what it looks like here, but... Uh, I'll save that for another time. Anyways, next time, more co-op, but for now, uh, that's all you can do with the Sunlight Covenant. All the other ranks, plus two, plus three, don't really offer anything. So, um, with that, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time. We're almost done with the Covenant stuff, I swear. Um, yeah, we'll finish up with it soon. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.